start in the stock market, right? Where do we start for those of us that What's up, us is your favorite country cousin JT back here on another video. We do a lot of talk about the stock market here on this channel. Reason why is because the stock market is a tool that can change your life for the rest of your life. I know there's a lot of myths about it. If you're like me and you come from a low income environment, we were told that the stock market is gambling. We were told that the stock market is controlled by somebody that don't look like us. And we were told all of these negative things about the stock market. However, if you think about it, if you work for a major company, it's a good chance either them or a company that they work with is being traded every single day on the stock market, right? So what I want to do in this particular video, hold up, hold up, hold up, pause, stop, freeze. Everyone listen, my name is Christopher Jackson and I want to invite you to my free Stock Options 101 Masterclass this Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Listen, I want to show you how you can make additional income trading stock options while still working your full-time job. I truly believe that people should not pay their bills with their full-time income. I believe people should pay their bills with their investments. So if you want to learn how to make additional income trading stock options while still working a full-time job, join my free masterclass this Sunday at 7.30 p.m. The link to register is below and it's absolutely free. Listen, I'm going to see you in the masterclass this Sunday. I'm going to take you on a journey and show you some things that you've never seen before. All praise to the most high. You guys have a good one. Is reintroduce you, for those of you all that watch the videos, to Mr. Christopher Jackson, my brother. For the people that are new, let you know, like, how do you start in the stock market, right? Where do we start for those of us that, that come from low-income environments, we're afraid of what we don't understand because fear always comes from a lack of knowledge. But how can we get over that fear and really start making life-changing money in the stock market. All right, Chris, so for anybody that does not know, how did you get started in the stock market? Yes, yeah, so it was crazy. I was actually uh, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife was at the, uh, at the bar having some drinks and, you know, had, eating some food. Mm -hmm. And then the person who worked at the actual hotel said, hey, we're going to have our first wine taste. This is the first time I'm doing a wine taste. So we said, okay, we'll do it. At the time, I didn't know it was free. If I if I known it if I know I had to pay for it, I wouldn't did it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad I did it. So we came to the table, this couple came down, came out him and his family, and we was talking, they was just kind of talking a little bit, not too much. You know how you have interaction with people at the table. Yeah. And then uh he said they've been on week on vacation for eight weeks. I'm like, shoot, this been on vacation for eight weeks. I gotta figure out what how you be on vacation for eight weeks a long time. Yeah. So at the time I had a truck come, I had two hot shot trucks. So I asked him about the uh I threw that out there and said, Hey, I got his trucking company. He wasn't you know, he, he said, oh, okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Then I told him I wanted to get into the HVAC business. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then the couple we came down there with, he said, uh, man, I want to learn about the stock market. Man, the next thing, you know, that dude's eyes lit up. Yeah. For the next two to three hours, he buying his shots and talking about this stock market. I just, I just made $1,000 on tests before I came down there, mm -hmm. down here. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Now, at the time, I ain't really believe him. I'm like, I believe him, but I'm like, I don't you know what you're talking about because I don't, I don't know about the stock market. So he said, when you get home, give me a call. So I got home. Then I think on the, uh, I think it was like the following Saturday, I called him, me and the person, me and my guy that was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he talked, he said on the phone, it was like an hour, two hours, set up our charts for us, all that good stuff. Paid him about, paid him about 300 some odd dollars and boom. Oh, yeah. Financially speaking, and I know this is kind of personal, like I, I know you you just mentioned if you knew you had to pay for the wine tasting, <laughs> like right. you wouldn't have went to the wine tasting. Yeah. Financially speaking, when you got into the stock market, were you already somebody that had hundreds of thousands of dollars to put in the market, or no. wh where were you at financially? Speaking? So I didn't, I didn't need, to, I didn't need to trade options mm -hmm. to, to live. You see, what I'm saying. So yeah. I still had, I had a good job. I was making over a hundred thousand a year uh, at my job, but at the same time, I was still living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. You see, what I'm saying. So I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Didn't have, don't really have too much, in the, and don't have anything like really saved in savings. You see, what I'm mm -hmm. saying because we live in paycheck to paycheck, so you don't got no savings, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I was able to manage to put eleven hundred dollars in the market when I first started trading. That's crazy, and, and we talked about it in previous videos, but it's worth reiterating. And some of you all may have not heard Chris explain this before. A lot of you all now work a nine to five job, and you're chasing a promotion or a better job to get to six figures. So how in the world does somebody make six figures and still live paycheck to paycheck? Because I know a lot of you all think that if I just made six figures on my job, man, I'll be on. I won't need no side hustle. I won't need to learn no skill. I'll just live off my nine to five job. So I, 
it's good to have somebody with that perspective. So how do you make six figures and you still living paycheck to paycheck? Was y'all going to the club every night? No. You was buying all the, as soon as a new car dropped, you get a new car. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, uh, well, six figures is a blessing. I'll praise the most high first and yeah. foremost. It's a blessing. But at the same time, you make, I started making six figures. I was only making six figures probably for like a year and a half, two years when this happened. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So prior to that, I wasn't making six figures, right? I was I was working at a job where I got a seven dollar a six dollar raise in eight, nine years, right? So I went from making eleven dollars to making nineteen seventeen dollars an hour, and that would happen in nine years stretch. So that whole time period, I'm making less than twenty dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. Then I'm working at then I when I quit there, I started working at Lowe's, making ten dollars and thirty five cents an hour. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I jumped from ten dollars an hour to forty dollars an hour, that's a huge jump. I'm making more money. But for my whole life, I've been making less than $20 an hour, work, basically. You see what I'm saying? Less than $20, $25 an hour. So now that I'm making $100,000 a year, I'm playing, I'm still playing catch up from the years I wasn't paying it, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you fat, then as year life goes forward, life goes forward. Life doesn't go backwards. Mm -hmm. You start having kids. You start trying to, you start, your family start growing. So you got to get a bigger car. You got to get a, uh, another place to live and so on and so on. Expenses just go up. So when you make $100,000, expect your expenses to go right along with you because life goes forward and it doesn't go backwards. For those of you out there, the reason why I wanted him to elaborate on that is to let you know that, in my opinion, as I would assume you would agree, but you could tell me if you wouldn't, that it's better for you to learn a skill than to try to chase a promotion or a better paying job. Mm -hmm. That skill being learning how to go into this market, analyze what's going on. This is not predicting the market. Right, this is not definitely not controlling the market either. Like you don't dictate what it's going to do. You don't predict and say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna manifest it to go up because I want it to go up. This is looking at what the market is already telling you is going to do, and you just agreeing with it is the simplified way that I like to understand uh, trading stock options from being around Chris these years. Right, somebody that wants to get into this, it shouldn't be somebody that is in desperate need. Of paying a light bill tomorrow, right? We, we, I get that from you. I finally figured it out. What did I figure out? I'm so glad that you asked. The problem that we both have is that while I love social media, as do you, or you at least like it, or you wouldn't be seeing this video, we do not get to control the algorithm. Why does that matter? Why is that a problem? If I create a video that can teach you how to make more money step by step, or create generational wealth or invest or just in any way better your financial journey. But multi-billion dollar advertisers don't want to run ads against that sort of content because it doesn't fat in their pockets. Do you know what social media algorithms are going to do? Not send out notifications. Think about it. How many people do you follow across social media? They drop new videos, but you say, I never saw a notification. I didn't know that video came out and you could be missing out on game. It could be one piece of information that could change your life for the rest of your life. But just because a multi-billion dollar advertiser doesn't want to advertise against that content, it will reduce the notifications that go out. Now, I'm not here to complain. I believe that if you identify a problem, you should also offer a solution. Here's my solution. Join my newsletter. It's absolutely free. It's the Providence Professional. I call it the Providence Pro Newsletter. And what I'm going to do for absolutely free is I'm going to email you the opportunities. And then you decide if that opportunity is something that you want to check out and change your life for the rest of your life, or you decide if that's something that's not interesting to you. I think that while we all need these big companies, they serve a purpose in the marketplace, I create content to help people that's on their way to financial freedom, not multi-billion dollar companies that are trying to become multi-trillion dollar companies. I love them, I'm unapologetically an entrepreneur, but I'm here for you. Join the free Providence Pro newsletter, link underneath this video, and you start making the choices for yourself. Stop letting big advertisers determine what information you are allowed or not allowed to see. Let's get back to today's action. Join the newsletter. Peace. All right. It, it also should be somebody that has discipline, right? You're really big on discipline. So if you're somebody that's highly emotional, wear your emotions on your sleeve, as they say, this is, this is something that'll send you on an emotional roller coaster every single day. Do you have to be somebody that's super analytical like like a 
a nerd, quote unquote, yeah. right? Like that's the, the trigger word, but I don't think nothing wrong with being a nerd. But do you need to be somebody that's just mathematically sound with numbers and accounting and all of that good stuff? No, you no. You don't you don't you can be the average person. Yeah. Right, you don't have to be. You can be a less than whatever your IQ may be, whatever your 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 grade level. You don't have to be the. You don't have to have a four point GPA. You don't have. You can be having a two point or one point five. It doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. What matters is simple. Can you be disciplined? Mm -hmm. Yes or no. If you cannot be disciplined, do not do it. It's not going to work for you. You're going to lose your money. If you can be disciplined, that's a check mark up. Now it's okay. Now let me understand a strategy. Let me learn these type of things. And you put those together, no matter how smart you is, no matter if you're in the 12th grade, no matter if you're in the second grade, no matter if you're in the 10th grade, it doesn't matter as long as you can understand that I have to be disciplined first and then learn your strategy. And then when you learn your strategy, be disciplined to the strategy and then boom. You're going to start seeing yourself grow and grow and grow and grow because the main thing is you can be disciplined. All right. Now, you, you made a good point there that I want to highlight as well. Uh, you use the term strategy. Now, if you guys watch 20 different YouTube videos from 20 different people, uh, you'll find 20 different strategies. All right. This person will say, I, I look at this indicator. This person looks at that. This person says, I use this. Somebody says, I only watch the news or whatever it may be. Right. When it comes to strategies for a new investor, do I have to learn like 20 different strategies to be successful or can I learn one strategy and that be enough for me to start off? Learn a strategy that works mm -hmm. and then you're good to go. Like I always tell you, you don't have to have 20, 30 strategies because you have 20, 30 strategies, you may go, you're going to miss something, yeah. right? You find a strategy that works and you be disciplined with it and let it do what it's going to do. You see what I'm saying? You stick, you, you stick together with that strategy and you'll be good to go. All right. And I want to end on a high note. And I know you guys probably still got a lot of questions. And I'm going to connect you with the man that can teach you. If you fit the bill so far, if you're like, hey, I think that I'm that type of person that can go on to make, you know, crazy money or enough money to pay my bills or whatever your financial goals are at this moment, right? Not about you personally, Chris, because now you're a big time influencer, followers across different social media platforms. Let's talk about your students, right? So, Men and women that were just like you once upon a time watched a YouTube video, maybe watched multiple YouTube videos, then decided, hey, listen, I want to make the decision to change my life for the better for the rest of my life, right? Well, what what kind of results are your students getting? Yeah, so this is the thing about it. You have, I put it in tears. You have people that jump right into it. You have people that don't jump right into it. You have people who never look into it, okay? Yeah. So it's people who come through that I've trained that never done anything with it. Right, I get emails all the time. Man, I took a class a year ago, man. I just ain't done anything with it. It's yeah. cool, right? You got the people in the mid section that say, hey, uh, I kind of looked at everything, but life is just life right now. You see what I'm saying? But then you have that pe those people that take the information, jump in, and go crazy with it. I mean, I got, you got people in there who's probably making, I know some people that's probably making $2,000 on average a day mm -hmm. trading, right? Then you have people that's making probably about $2,000 on a week trading. Right, you got people that's making five hundred dollars a day. So it, it varies based upon how much they invest when it's first start off. But I can talk, I can walk you through my Discord chat and show you right now people that's posting. Hey, I made this, I made this, I made this, I made this, and we show our losses as well. I lost this, I lost this, and break down why we lost as well. So I can walk you through all of that. All right. So hey, you guys, if you, if those numbers sound good to you, now this didn't happen overnight. No. Right. Yeah. This wasn't a get rich quick scheme or scam. Right. This is people that learned a skill from Chris. And then they weren't information hoarders. They were willing to apply the skills over time, right? Just like anything, for those of you all that play sports, right? Maybe the first time you shot a basketball, maybe maybe you missed. Maybe the first time you got on a football field, everybody was faster, stronger, better at it than you. But over time, you developed that skill, and maybe now you're highly proficient at it, right? Maybe there was a time where you got to be one of the best players on the team. Same thing with this skill. The dope thing about this, though, is that you learn this skill – now, this is a skill that you can exercise from the comfort of your home while you're on vacation. While you're on vacation for eight weeks, right? And how would you like to take a two-month vacation and not worry right. about how much is this costing? Well, you know we still got the mortgage payment back home. You know we still got these financial responsibilities, right? And again, you work your way up to that, but think about this. Even if it takes you six months, a year, or longer to really fine-tune this skill in your life, and it's different person to person. By the grace of God, six months, a year, or longer from now is going to pass by either way. So you can let time pass you by, 
and still, give or take, be in the exact same financial position you're in today, or it can be drastically different if you're willing to take action. Chris, can you tell them about the opportunity they have to connect with you? Yep. So uh, March 25th through March 29th is the next five-day mastermind that we're having. In this mastermind, I'm going to walk you through everything that we use on a day-to-day -day basis trading stock options right from a to z from beginner level to a more experienced level that's what they're going to learn in that mastermind and this is not like any other mastermind it's not like a, oh i'm gonna come here and like i learned something no i'm <laughs> i'm going to literally spend three to four hours with you every single day okay teaching you this skill set going through examples taking you into the real market showing you how i'm trading on the real market with my real account all of these things in this mastermind because i truly want you to understand that listen if you're disciplined and you apply yourself you can go into this market and you can take out house payments you can take out car payments and all these things daycare bills and pay it with the stock market but you have to be that type of person say, okay listen i'm going to go out here i'm going to make it happen i'm going to learn this skill set and i'm going to be Discipline. I got my man like uh, Andrew, for example. And this kind of go back to your previous question. Andrew, I think he's been in the. Uh, he took the five day mastermind. I think he joined. He uh, he's in our mentorship program right now. Andrew started off. He's a truck driver, so he's trading in his truck at the same time. Andrew posts, "Oh, I made a thousand dollars a day. Oh, I made two thousand dollars this day. I think a couple of days ago he made two thousand dollars, and I post it. I give it to you so you can post it in here. He made two thousand dollars in one day. So it's just like this guy went from never trading before ever. To now he can go into a market and make two thousand dollars in a day, you see what I'm saying? Like it, that stuff is like a um, life changing. But that yeah, job, no matter if you go on that job, you go into that job every single day. He get into that. Oh, you go into that job, you know exactly how much money you gonna bring home. You see, no matter how hard you work. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Okay. So, but no. Anyway, but March 25th through March 29th, next five day master. All right. Hey, you're watching this as the fact. I'll make sure that link down in the description below is updated for your convenience. Take action, take action, take action, right? Till next time, this is your favorite country cousin, JT. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like, share, all that good stuff. All my hustlers stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.